used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, my... my mind drifted for a second. So you all moved in? Um, not... not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... you know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meat cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people math works. He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. I, uh, have my own toothbrush. Yeah, oh. no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So you're in luck. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Fine, just hold the camera out, like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. We spent five years studying the It's, uh, to the left of the dial? 88.3. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see.
Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... That's kind of... Take... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So let's... No, it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. I mean, not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. Oh, stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is an improvement. That was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. Oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October yeah. 28th, I hate thinking about it. It, it reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Named after the Hawaiian god of the... Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing, 
is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And there... No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like... Like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or it's aliens. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you'd call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone and actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so don't And get... did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh <sighs> Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Brent, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go, that's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I'd miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. Ugh, what is that? It's a saying. No, it isn't. <laughs> officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Be cool. Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. 
He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh... Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> That's, um... I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare, because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. I haven't played this since I was, like, ten. Can't we do something else? Come on. It's a good way to start out the night. One round? It'll help everybody relax. The booze will do that, too. Maybe I'll just be an innocent bystander? Well... I guess if you really want. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! I okay, want... that's- <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. Oh, really? I thought you were just watching. You can't just jump in and out as your heart sees fit, dear. It's okay. Well, look, I changed my mind, okay? I wanna play. And you'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... she's Let's just... ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, uh, just take it easy, all right? Tis all in good fun. Hey, no partnering up to be pansies. Silence! Okay, Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? What? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically, so he's excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. 
stay-at-home husband. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Nona. She seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's honor. Oh, God, this is such a horrible turn. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Um, Nona. <laughs> yes? All right, let's uh, make it something uh, fun and easy now. So, does Clarissa ever do anything that just, like, really annoys the crap out of you? <laughs> Think carefully now. Um, you sometimes tap your nails on things when you're uh, bored. <laughs> what? I barely do what, that. What, that's it? Come on, didn't she get to, like, second base with your cousin or something? Hey, he kissed me on the cheek when he was six on the swings. That counts. Um, Nona, you're up. Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A better question would be, what would she get when the artist refused to draw two dogs eating a dead baby on her forehead? I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am gonna get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother, pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Is there like a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so... Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation. Clarissa, Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. <sighs> they had... It was just issues, like any other marriage, and they just couldn't get past theirs. That's complete crap. I know you know why. Specifically why. Just come out with it. Go to hell. That's my answer. Happy? Yeah, I won the turn. Of course I'm happy. Alright, you know what? Let's just stop the game, okay? I think everyone's ready to do something else. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but 
Not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's true. Kind of. Thanks for uh not ratting me out to Nona during the uh the game. I didn't think you would, but you know you could have and you didn't. So thanks. Well, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. That was a joke, and he agreed. So no regrets. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am. Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here, and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. It must be, uh, like. My running theory has always been like traffic reports from another galaxy, but you know, if you move around, it kind of changes too. I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Kind of. I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. So, yeah, it sounds, uh... It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there, like... A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> In and out. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. That Jonas! Don't! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think. Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. No, oh, come on, get up. Help me get Jonas before he hurts himself. Uh, I don't think I can really. 
do anything right now. Uh, at least for a few hours. Hours? You know, the stuff. Ah. <sighs> about a dog. Sure, will do. Didn't you hear no. me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. It's crazy. Yeah, sure, it's amazing. Can we just, like, go now? Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, at this point, if we stay, we're just idiots, right? We're just the horror movie morons the audience screams at to leave. <laughs> There was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Can we just go, please? I really don't like it here. Yeah, okay, we can go. Lead the way. <sighs> Thank you. This... Th this can't be the way we came in, right? We must have doubled back the wrong way somehow, or... Oh my god. This is the way we came in. Alex, come on, that's not possible. It's just... wall. Uh, where's the crack we crawled through? There's no other... This is it, Jonas. This is the way. If it's not here, then where? We didn't miss it. I don't know where it is. I have no idea. Let's just go back the other way. We got in, there has to be a way out. No, there really doesn't. Let's just ignore that. Easier said than done. Just don't think about things. <sighs> Everywhere. There's no other exit. I know, I know. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? No, where? It's like in the, the air, right there. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows? Sure, why not? Let's go with that, for the time being. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or...
Twitch or something. Okay. You all right? I thought you were dead for a minute. <sighs> what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of... We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... Ren, sure, but does that list really include Clarissa? I'm not saying leave her, but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. We can't leave anybody behind. They're here somewhere. This is not... This is not a thing. Okay, okay. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick... I'm really, really not in the mood. So, if it is, the time to- Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, all right? I have a splitting headache and like, I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Where's everyone else? Ren and Clarissa. I have no idea. I don't know if they even know that anything happened. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> uh, that would explain why I remember it. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? 
probably heard all the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. Great. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. And what exactly can you do except jiggle it more? Oh, you'll see. What's the expression? Skills of a misspent youth? That's not an expression. A little help? Just have a little faith. See? I have to say, I'm impressed. How'd you do that? It's just pressure and a library card for most older locks. Huh. Cool. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nope. Ah! ah! Jesus! Hello? Alex? Alex? Is that you? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I... You guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still funny. Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like, worse. I... How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it this... It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa. And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I... I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay, I just want to get out of here. Nobody wants to stay, Clarissa, but you know that the radio works? Yeah, how the hell do you think I called you guys? I just can't... There's like a way or something to connect outside, but I'm not good with this stuff. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. It's like the... Ren, are you still there? Yeah. I guess that'd be too easy. So, wanna truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. Alright, let's figure out how to turn off this electrified fence, kickstart this rescue mission like the, uh, total badasses we are. We're just gonna walk through what amounts to a park to pick up some frightened children, Jonas. Don't get ahead of yourself. Act as if. That's all I'm gonna say. Act as if. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point.
So, just curious, but, um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us, but not, and now we're here. Yep. That. Those were the events. Good talk. Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if, just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, pro- No way, Jonas, come on. Conspiracies are comforting because they explain what can't be explained. Well, there is an explanation. I mean, no matter how ridiculous, there is one. And it's not that... That light, for some reason it reminds me of the cave. Dinner time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? All right, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Oh, uh, really? Yes, really. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Um, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like sort of thing. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to picture it. What sort of thing? What do you mean? You know, like, intense, I guess is the word I'm trying to find. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just, what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? Right? You know, Jonas, frankly, I don't really know, and I don't really care, so... All right, hey, it's old news, I get that. It's just uh, interesting, I guess, to me. Look, it really wasn't a big deal. That's all. I believe you, I believe you. It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No, we need like bolt cutters or something. 
or the code. Hey, that's... Clarissa! Clarissa, hold up! Jonas, what happened? Are you alright? Jonas, let me in! I'm not in the mood! Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Just put your back into it. Be a man here, Jonas. We got stuff to do. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there. But let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. You know, I... Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for him. His mom's... dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... Okay, what just happened? Cause that... that sucked. Uh, Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and... Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. Here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection... was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. It seems all right now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. What you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. Do you think maybe, uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything? I guess there might be another comm room or something. It was locked, remember? How could she have gotten in? Same way I did. But then I don't really know how she could have gotten out. Radio locks. <laughs> the technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. wasn't anything. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on.
Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd, you know. No. Come on, it'll just take a second. I'll force it out fast. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vagrant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me! Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. Clarissa, come back! We came to help you, don't... Ugh. Hello? Is this thing... is this... God, is this... is this going out, or... Wait, I can... Ugh, I can hear myself, that's oh, not... Ugh, man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. Handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. It's probably like children. They have such little hands. Yeah, little kids just making a mess of things. What was that? You... you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. Probably. It's not opening. <sighs> Clarissa! Man, when we catch up, I'm gonna tear... It's gonna be limb from limb. It's gonna be like she wasn't wearing seatbelts when I'm finished with her. God! Okay, alright, I know, she's a hoot. We can't leave until she shows us where that radio is. I know it's annoying, but it's our only hope for getting us out of here so far. In the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Uh. What is it doing? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like, a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a four. Seven. Six. Uh, the school for... Armed services? Our friends are finding this tough. Do you think us cruel? Do you think us callous? I don't care, just don't we hurt. don't hurt playmates. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh. I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This isn't World War Nine. II. Nobody calls anything anything Eight. anymore. You call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job. 
and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything, right. We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships. Nine. Nine. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing values in the changing world. Five. Eighty-five? Correct. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I didn't need to get that far. Right, Mom, I was saying, I'm just a kid. You miss Vince? There's, there's all in my head. It's sad. He was now a United States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near... Is this... Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Canaloa? We... Are uh, sunken. Who? What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just. Time. What? I. That was not fun. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um... Uh, huh? Cross your fingers. Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. So are we... We came here, okay? We showed up and... You know what? It wasn't exactly an easy walk. There were, like, obstacles. 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 Okay, what ninja training ground kept you from showing up when I called, huh? I mean, it's like a three-mile spread. That's like 20 minutes if you jog. 
Oh, I don't know. Maybe all the ghosts that are shambling around handing out tests? <laughs> oh my god. Look, stuff has been strange. I'll give you that, but let's not bungee jump into lunacy just yet, okay? Okay, whatever, Clarissa. Just where's the radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a... Any officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Wait, Jonas, something... Something just happened. We got... We were in there, and then... Come on. Let's just get to Clarissa. Clarissa! Is there anything like... Can we cut her down with something? <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Or not? We keep doing the same... We've, we've gone through this door like twice now, and it... It keeps... The events keep changing. Are you feeling okay? Because I'm not really following. I'm not nutso, Jonas. We've, like, done this. We've gone through this door and seen Clarissa twice now, and we're about to do it a third time. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. I believe that. You believe this, so all right. Just keep me posted, I guess, on how that develops. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh. Maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... Yeah, it it only broadcasts within the within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? Jonas, we're in a loop. We already... Just... It's okay. Knock yourself out. Clarissa! Oh, thank God, Clarissa. We saw... Well, I saw you... Alex, don't worry. What is I would the never matter with her? That I am an American. Why what is she doing? Freedom? There will be other ships. And other souls to sail them. Oh my God! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not... It's not like we're... I can't believe this. I, I I can't believe she would do that over. I mean, things are are bad right now, but you you can't just. I, I just. Uh, this is Jonas. This is so horrible. I don't. I don't even know what to. We. We should get to the others. I I can't even imagine telling them, or or how to tell them. I mean, we'll. We'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both Wait, saw- Wait, she- she's- uh... I can't think of the appropriate word here. Dead? The word is dead. She should be dead, Alex. I watched her. There was no breaking that fall, so... How'd she walk away? This... isn't possible. Cause, uh, we did just go through a uh, sort of a temporal anomaly, a, a time thing. Maybe it's screwed with what happened. Well, regardless, good news. Yeah, we'll see. Well, guess it's Ren time. Let's hope it's less eventful. Do not enter without permission of the installation commander. Whatever you say, sign.
I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy and that I'm outdoors. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do know where we're um, going. Hey, Glee. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off so it spelled pea pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of... Whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got something. Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? With wood and slats? It's not a cable car, it's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry? Yeah, it's kinda neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. It looks less than welcoming. Or, at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or, even odd. Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us, so... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. Power Transfer Station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Um, uh, maybe there's no need? Like there's nothing here to steal, or something? All right, I'll go with that, just cause... What else am I gonna do? I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is, beware of overload. Do not attempt to restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know. Uh, okay. Thanks. No problem, it's just that you know, kind of, your way around here. You know Ren. If someone were to get electrocuted, it should be me, right? It makes some kind of circus sense. I'm sure you'll be fine. All right, um, well. Uh, what's happening? Why'd the lights go out? Which flip did you hit? The only one. There's only one switch, and it's the one that says power or whatever. I don't know why it didn't do what it should have. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise, too, right? Yeah, a little. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. It's... I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay, we'll just... There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. Hey, don't worry. This will be just another in a series of escalating funny stories to tell our parents when we get home. If we get home.
That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah. I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Says you, man. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. Yep. Yay. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Yeah. With my brother. With Michael? Yeah? Like, with your mom and dad, or...? Sometimes mom and dad, but mostly just him and me. Oh, well, that's cool. Like he's... like he'd be babysitting you and he'd bring you out here? That's nice of him. He could've just stayed home, you know? It wasn't like that. We were, like, best friends. It's not like he was being forced to do it. He wanted to do it. We liked hanging out together. Oh, I mean, I didn't mean... Yeah, yeah, of course. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. Yeah, I can see this place being cool like in the summer or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. Yeah, well, after tonight, douse it in gasoline and light a match. I am never coming back here again. used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. You... didn't you already say that? Did I? Okay, yeah, tonight's like being trapped in a nightmare suit, but I don't know. You have memories here, right? Jumping off the diving board with little Janie and eating ice cream with little Franklin, stringing Christmas... <laughs> I never did any of that! All I'm saying is, before tonight, this was a pretty cool place. And you did stuff here, and it's a part of you, you know? It's a part of you. And I just wouldn't want our first night out to, you know, wreck all of that. For, like, forever. I just wouldn't want that. I think it... Ugh, it fine. I won't hold it against the island, or whatever. I won't hold it against you or the island. I'll keep my memories. Happy? Actually, I am. Thank you. Wait, wasn't this... We passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Something is... Something's wrong. We've already done this, like, twice. Done what? Cause I don't remember any of this. We're... I think we're going in circles. We've seen these same damn trees, like, I don't know how many times now. We just got off the tram thing, Alex. This is all new, so... I mean, what are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? Or is it something else? We keep repeating this one moment for some... Reason. God, can't things stay normal for like two friggin' seconds? Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed, but okay, let's deal with this now, sure.
This is, uh, new. Aw, oh, it's, it's kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah, why would a toy company make two, right? Oh, love the jokes. Keep it up. See what happens. Take that, ball. Um... What? So, it's just... I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Uh, okay, I'd, I'd like to know where this is going. Uh, okay, I'd, I'd like to know where this is going. Maybe don't antagonize whoever. Uh, <laughs> it's a good one. I think they have a sense of humor. Oh, what's that? Don't want to play anymore? Oh my god. This Alec is crazy. Jonas? Jonas, where... where are you? What's happening? Tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Wait, wait. We've done this before. Okay. Uh, there's got to be a way out, or... <sighs> It's all right, we must have just missed, um, something. Are you... can you kind of remember more now? It's starting to stick. Yeah, I mean, it's still sort of foggy, but whatever, I'll deal with it. You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped something, I think. Yeah, but making it sound right did what? I... I don't know, but it's like my allergies cleared up or something. Let's just keep going and get Ren. usually like justice or something vengeance yeah i just hope they want to like play soccer every once in a while and that's it is that nona Don't, don't, okay? Just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. No, no. Just don't move. What is it? What's wrong? This night has turned banana bread really fast. And I'm seeing things and forgetting things. And I bumped into you once already. And it was horrible. So we're going to take it. We haven't. It, this is the first time we've seen you since the beach. 
Be that as it may, I've seen an Alex. So just look, you're not gonna talk about my grandfather. You're just gonna stand there politely and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Because I've been looking. Clarissa's No, no, we haven't. But we, uh, we're actually, we're looking for Ren right now. So have you, have you maybe seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay, hey, I get it, I do. I'm jumpy right now too, but... Just hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just, can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and it seems pretty safe. No, Nona, you should really come with us. It's better to stick together. Better for who? Nona, come on. For everyone, for all of us. No. <sighs> and the comm tower is where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yeah, Nona, it's me, Alex. All right, bye. That girl's a peach. Hey, just for me, why'd you let me flip the switch back at the bridge? To be honest, I expected you to just pull ahead and do it yourself. I just didn't want to hurt your feelings, okay? It's easier that way. With boys. All right, well, you don't have to do that with me, all right? Do what you want. I'm not going to fret over it. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole thing just go in a circle? Um, this was a, a mining island before the war. And the land, you know, as you can tell, it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport, so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks and carted the coal by freight to the, um, the pier for the boats. Can I ask you something? Um, it kind of depends. You think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like, I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? Um, I think your smarts are probably about average. I guess, the national mean. The national mean? Eh, alright, I can live with that. Guys! Jesus, it took you forever to get here. What happened? I've been scared out of my mind. Hearing things, seeing things. We went to Milner first. Clarissa was having a slow motion conniption and I don't know, it just seemed more pressing. Oh my God, Clarissa can handle herself. I'm the one that needed a babysitter until I was 14. Do you have like any idea what's going on? Okay, that must be the way station and Actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Ugh, Jonas, we're repeating the same stuff again. We are? Ugh, it's kind of weird that you can tell when it's happening and I can't, right? I mean, it's not like... I mean, I'm glad someone can tell, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd be worried about it if I were you, because believe me, it's pretty obvious. Okay, well, I don't really know what to do with that, but fine, I'll worry about it. Thanks. There's your boy. Hey, Ren! We made it, finally. Um, Ren? Ren, come on, what's the matter? What's he doing? Is he like sleepwalking? I don't know how he like fell asleep during all this, but... I've seen sleepwalking, okay? Michael sleepwalked and the worst he'd do is take his pillow into the hallway. This is like something else. Ren? Are you in there? Come on, 
pal, the neighbors are here and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to, like, alarm you. Yeah, I don't want to say the word possession here, but... But what? But I don't know how to finish that sentence. I don't know if you remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it. So I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Kind of. Ren go. He was standing right there. I thought I thought this would have fixed it. Like last time, didn't it? The time stuff? Yeah, I mean I think I, I think it did. I don't feel as foggy. Maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? Ren, can you... can you hear me? I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... we gotta do something, right? Uh, this is a little different than a trampoline accident. He's, like, turning into the star child. I know, it's different. I know it's different. I'm just saying we should do something. I don't know what, but something. Ren, are, are you... Oh, God. Talk through, child. Feels... Stretched. Better. No. Jonas, where did you... We are... Abounding. Not one. one. Silly. But... Do not... Be still. You are dolls. Would... Never... Plot. Hurt you. Can't. Hurt. Hurt. You. Uh, well, that's, that's good. Leave. Possible. Uh, maybe? But I, I don't really... Grounded. By Adler. So, uh, Margaret. Pretty. Little. Poppy. Maggie Adler. That old woman? What did she have to do with it? That old woman was young once. We were young once. Sit still. Bear freak. Tag.
Holy mother of God. You guys. God, Ren. Man, my heart's going like a hummingbird in a in a car or something. You're what? alive. I am. I am. Well, why was that a question at first? Why? Why is this? Why? Actually, thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. And before now, the worst thing that ever happened was like, a kid would lose his shorts to the undertow. The island's haunted, Ren. Like haunted with memories or elevators on their period haunted? The second one. Guys, anyone? Is this thing working? If Don't anyone can hear this, out there, in a whatever, I, I'm at the comm tower on Edwards Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can... What is this? I I'm trying to communicate with the... Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like it. Ugh. Can't, like, anyone work a two-way radio? Didn't everyone have that, like, one trucker uncle who let them work the CB a few times for fun? Guess not. I think that was our cue, then. It's kind of a shortcut back to the communication tower if we go through this fence. Shouldn't take that long. I think it's actually locked. Not from this side. It's a little latch. I could see it from the window. Oh, man. You know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but... But that makes it sound like they have a little cab- Okay, are you still out of it? I shouldn't be paying any attention to this, no, right? No, this is- I can't believe you don't remember this. A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played and you- You ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of this is sparking any synapses. Nope. Um, memory's pretty gloomy on this one. Wait, she ditched a test? She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd you do that? Um, I think she was... indisposed? You know, I, uh, I can't even remember. Michael had just died, like, a month or two before, and I... I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But you know, it's... whatever, that's... that's not part of the story. Anyways, she was gonna retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the... Just picture, like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's a... Really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did? I guess. I mean, I, I don't really remember this at all, but... Yeah, sure. And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's awesome, right? <sighs> of course he did. One of these days, Nate's dad is going to start keeping a tally of his medicine cabinet. And I will rue that day, let me tell you. I don't know. I think you probably should have taken the test. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just... Like, if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. No offense. Hey, none taken. I'm not that smart, Jonas. There's nothing really to waste here. If you say so. She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? Yeah, how those can anyone just made stand and listen to me all day? Yeah, let's see how she is. And, uh, so give my lungs a breather. My stupid chest's on fire for some reason. Smoke will do that. Yes, it will.
Oh, hey guys. I see you down there. And without Clarissa. Actually, I'm gonna stop talking since this obviously isn't working. So just come on up and you can help or something. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's probably at least a little scared. She was freaked out when we ran into her, and we still haven't found her best friend, so... Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. When did you take a second one? How many do you even have? I ate it right when we got back to the fields. I thought you noticed. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down... I cannot believe you. You're going to keel over in like a purple haze while we try and save our lives. I'm going to be fine. Last time I just ate too much. This was a gimme. It's baby food. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. What won't work? The, uh, radio? It, like, works, but... Uh, sorry I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, like, out there. Uh, it's yeah. It's been ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The... Blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brown... Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but... What other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... <laughs> There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Yeah, and she could hardly muster two- Don't suck me into this tornado of, of whatever is happening right now. Just guys, please stop. We can, we can fight on the way home. After we get the boat and- I guess, if that's even what we're doing. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Honestly? Anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't 
you shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is going to start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You are... Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of... Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean, I guess. Why this are you isn't... making me shack up with it's this guy? It's my friggin' plan! We've been together the entire... It's only... why? <laughs> this is why. Easiest question I've been asked all night. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. <sighs> hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. No hard feelings, right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. Look, just go easy on Ren when we get back, okay? He's fragile. He has like a squirrel heart. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's, it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you'd remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. So... It's like, what's the point? But... you miss the class. Isn't that like the most important part? How do you even learn anything? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So, I learned jumping. That's enough. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing. And you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Well, happy early birthday! In my family, we celebrate birthdays all week, so you're four days late. You gotta get in the mind state. Thanks. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. I was thinking about... Uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and... Well, I was thinking about my last birthday when... No. Actually, sorry. Never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. Sorry. No, come on, I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just, this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency, it's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies, and she didn't have to do that. Wait, Clarissa did that? Clarissa. Our Clarissa. She's a good person, Alex, really. It's just... It's like she's had a pebble in her boot for a while that she just can't seem to get rid of. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh, yeah, I know. What are you... How did she get up there? What are you doing? Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Clarissa! What? Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, do you know what's happening? 
Is she... Is she gonna be okay? Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't... Uh, this is just really lost its charm, I have to say. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh... Clarissa! This happened to Jonas, too. It's... it's... Uh, I don't know, it's like when they want to talk or something. Oh, uh, God. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. Elise, please, somehow. Clarissa, can you come down? Uh, she just looks awful. Clarissa, I'm, I'm trying to help you. This is, this. Help me, help me. How will that help me? When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay? Or she's? I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? The usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. So, you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother You're are... You're not blaming me for this, Clarissa. This is... This is so outside of logic, of reason, of anything that could possibly be anticipated. It's really not her fault, Clarissa. Jonas, I'm sorry, but you don't know who you speak of, dear. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do it you- It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a- Ugh, You are completely insane. It's like all those after school specials that warn you about inhuman monsters. We're all secretly talking about you. Yes, the person who didn't kill her own brother is the monster in this picture, of course. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe. Ugh. She is- Jonah, it was- Awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I... I don't. Just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So, let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the Alex and free. Hey, whoa. Man, do you ever... Do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Uh, I guess you don't remember, like anything that just happened, right? Um, to what anything are you referring, exactly? Clarissa, like, totally freaking out on me. Blaming me for everything more than everything? Like, like just now? 
Um, nope. I don't really remember that. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like right there. So let's try and whatever our way in. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. <sighs> Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios, wave-assisted lock, whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must work for the gate to add uh, Okay, cool. Great. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a... Wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna... Okay, here. To whom it should concern, this island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? what, what is that? Who, who's it for? To whom it should concern. It says right here, I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. The safety of others? If she's talking about tuning into floating shapes, that ship has sailed. Shh. Inside you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Huh? What the hell is she talking about? It's like if we use these new radios, we can tune into 140.1 and hear like instructions that will lead us to buried stuff. I don't know. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I help preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself, Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally face up with you. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the- Oh, the, the car? No, they don't- Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little, but- they know I can fix a broken taillight. No, 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 no. Just listen to me. You will drown. Not here, but at Horn Lake, back at home. You seem really confident. She seems confident. I'm a little nervous. I would be. Relax, Alex. I'm going to teach you how to swim at the pool in the park. Don't worry about it. What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but 
It's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex, relax. No, I mean, in this time period. Oh, jeez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. This is really quite insane, what's happening right now. I'm just sorry that apparently nobody realizes how insane this is. I know, right? Nobody really appreciates it when conditions are this good. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> I don't have any, I don't think. I don't believe you. So... Uh, <laughs> Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Uh, I'm... forget it. It's all right. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like... I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Thanks for uh, telling me. Yeah, of course. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right, sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure, I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day. But I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Oh, God. Do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay. I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex? Are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to like slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Nona, I, I just saw... 
I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... Was it like a... I don't... I don't know what to call it. A vision? Maybe it was... Uh, maybe it was an illusion or something? Well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was like a, a real thing. What'd you see? What was it like? And what happened basically? Clarissa was there too. It wasn't just me. It was a day I can remember, actually, when Michael and I spent a random Saturday on the beach here. It was just unbelievable to see him again. Uh, are you doing okay? Something like that. I don't know if I'd like it. No, it was... it was good to see him. I'm treating it like a... a temporary gift. That's all. Okay. Why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. How have um, you two been? What am I working with here? How much leering am I going to have to put up with? No, I'm glad we can leave. Let's put it that way. Yeah, don't even tiptoe in the vicinity of a joke right now. I just want to get out of here. Well, if the radio's the thing... It doesn't matter without Clarissa. Do I really have to point out that she's not here? Oh, yeah, that's true, I suppose. Look, we got the way in. Let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> how did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family, like, owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um... The keys, they... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. 
Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Cloris is here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes. I don't care what she says. Just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Okay, we get it. Ha ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion. Sheesh, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. How are you doing? How are you doing? Look, Jonas, are we, like, okay? I mean, because of the whole taking not you to town thing. I'm not going to pretend it didn't bother me a little, but it'd be stupid to, like... Tonight has been bad enough. I'm not going to crab about that. I mean, are you, like, mad at me or something? Right? No, no, we're... I want to be okay with you. I just... If we keep at each other's throats, I don't know if I'll be able to make it through the night. Me neither. So let's just not be at each other's throats anymore. There. See? Easy. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are always a little haunted house spooky, right? It's the tight spaces, the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and... Well, I'm actually, that about covers it. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. anything useful? Not yet. But you know, the night is young. So, it's Nona's birthday in three days. Really? Awesome. Yeah, that that's great. That's great. I can, um, I can really use that. I feel like, it's like I'm behind enemy lines with that one. This is perfect. Just be nice is what I'm trying to say. Say happy birthday, you know? Normal human stuff. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Got it. I'll turn up the nice, turn down the charm. Don't worry. Thanks. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? Fifty-four. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Uh, she must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a possibility. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. 
Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way? <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. <laughs> Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes the sword to chop off your head. Come on, Ren. Are you asleep? Nona, can you... can you hear me? Jonas, up and at him. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the... the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So... Ten. Nine. Eight. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models admitted X-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. Sure, my other sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Is it the, the... this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one. The, the picture of... of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of 
Essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... You had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. So, I'm kind of screwed. He should go to school here. Okay, seriously, who are you? So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. Clarissa? Ah, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. God, that all really... Yeah, we kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plane has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster. Clarissa is only like one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, a good question. Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead, and second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She knew something. I mean, look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the... the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields, anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is God, just- God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But 
won't it be like locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a-clickin'. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Can we just, I mean, can we just, like, think this plan through for, like, one minute before running off half-cocked? <laughs> Everyone heard that, right? <sighs> yes. Don't we need, like, access codes or something like that? Actually, I doubt it. It'll probably be tied to, like, the military radios and, well, we stole them, so... Well, the system works. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Same here. I don't want to know nothing. Okay, are you... are you back to normal? I just saw... It, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started. <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading it to the wood station right about now. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Well, wait. Okay. I guess they're fine. For them. What does- Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. Alright. See you after, at the bomb shelter. You know what time it is? 
It's four in the morning, which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all gonna be shopping for school supplies. Yeah, well, you know who else was confident? Hitler. And look how he ended up. Dead. With syphilis. Oh, true. I think that this, um, stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> Ugh, not this again. We're in another time maze thing. Ugh, okay. We were due. It's been like a minute since the last one. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... Hope that. Ren! No, no, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren's. He's. He had an accident. He. He died. I couldn't. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, we just saw you. How, how did this happen? He... he drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done in this case... It you want to call it. I know you're doing it. Just fix it. It's not us doing it, dear. We weren't lying. The time loops, as you've taken to calling them, which we do find so adorable, are of your own making. Yeah, sure. Just like you infesting us like lice isn't your fault either. That we have and will own up to. But the other stuff, that we're afraid is on you. Alex, we know you're in charge and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you should take... A proposition? L like what? It's already over with Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, we won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reggie over here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need the one, anyway. I don't, I don't get it. Why do you even need my permission if you have her already? Don't misunderstand. We don't need anything from you except what we can willingly take. We're merely offering you an arrangement that would leave both parties satisfied. Well, somewhat satisfied. Your friends would be fine. Oh, forget it. No deal. Everyone is coming home with me. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. 
You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? We're getting out of here. All of us. Run too. <laughs> okay. We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all with the rules. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's. I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is. He was more important. It's not stupid. It's not small to like somebody. It doesn't it doesn't diminish anything. Maybe. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He hopes you did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. Do you remember Ren? Nona? Their whole little situation? Yeah, I mean, maybe it was just a version of things, you know? Like it didn't happen in this time, or... Probably. I mean, all the stupid loops have been... They just seem divergent, I guess. I don't know. Hello? Anyone there? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? Anybody! They're both alive! Jonas! That's all I care about. Jonas! God. Punch Alex if you yeah, can hear this. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a bonus too. Seriously, right in the throat. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing? Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> okay, over. Over now! Why do you have to have the last word? Over is good enough. Over now! Hello! We're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello! This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Um, look, the, the ghosts told me they wanted to, to make a sort of deal for Clarissa. What? I said no, of course, but I, I don't know. I just thought you guys should know before moving on. All right, well, let's do the, the thing and get into the shelter and try and fix this fast. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Hey, we're awesome. Awesome enough, at least. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. I have an idea. 
Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have him reborn? Oh no, come on, Jonas. Don't turn freaky now. Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... It's getting worse, Jonas. The sun's coming up soon. I think we're running out of time. Yeah. Um, look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just, like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to... It's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say... I just... I think it would have been cool, us living together for... For whatever, senior year. And I'm just... Glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay, good. So, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no... You don't have to put it like... It would have been whatever to live together. We are going to live together, and you're someday soon going to eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> all right. I guess Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight, but... You know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Who's Ash- Oh, you mean Amanda? My really good friend Amanda who's moving away forever? That Amanda? Yeah, that Amanda, who stole her mom's car. And I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission to take it, cause whatever, fine. But you knew you didn't have permission to go to that show. Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. Ugh, seriously, Michael, it was not my fault. And hell, I mean, we would have probably gotten away with it if not for that sobriety checkpoint. Yes, that is definitely the lesson to take from all this. Down with drunk stops. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something, but you, you know what I mean. Wow, big man on campus. I don't know why I said that. Big step, that's what I mean. Big step. Eh, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know, and I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Well, if you leave, I'd certainly miss you. Yeah, no, I'd miss you too. It's just that everybody here knows me, you know? I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Uh, it was hard? I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. 
I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Huh, that's actually, <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> oh, shut up. Alex? Shut up, shut... Uh, you got, you know, you went bad again. I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done, now. God, great, again. Come on, it's alright. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. Just don't say anything to them, okay? This is... It's just like a trial period, like buying a used car. Say anything about what? What are you guys talking about? We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I, we're gonna date. Rin, dude, what did I just say? What? They asked, right? You asked? Ugh. Mazel tov on the happy couple. <laughs> Thank you. No, stop. It's one date at the Revival Theater. We're just gonna sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Hmm. Romantic. Hey, one man's depressant is another chick's upper. Aw, how cute. Riviera is a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. Please don't tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's not that insignificant or whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Good. I'm glad. This is... I mean, at the very least, I'll get to hear embarrassing stories, so... I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... Something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but... You've been acting like... Not you. Ren. No. I just... Well, I tried. I mean... I don't know what else I could have done, man. This night has been... Awful... Non-stop. It was a lot to juggle. I know. I don't... I don't know why I'm even saying this now. I'm sorry. This is stupid, but... Can we, like, take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and... Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. Alright, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not getting out of it. Alright. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So, make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. We'll be back. Oh, I know. Oof. Okay. I... Uh, all right. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse, actually. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you is this heard- Is a joke? Yeah, it's a- What do you call a man that's short of time? Tim. You call him Tim. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not one of my finest. It's... It feels like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does.
Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out, just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. Jonas, we're all getting out of here. I mean, look, we're about to fix this in two minutes. Two minutes. This is microwave popcorn of a problem. I'm not asking, I'm telling. Look, dream a little dream, buddy. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna leave you. Now, let's just get this door open, do what we gotta, and get home. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There's, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have to know what's going on before yeah, we Yeah, it, it's probably a trick, Jonas. The ghosts know we're closing in on, on booting them out, and they're throwing up distractions to distract you. Maybe you're right, maybe you're right, but, I mean, it's, it's ghosts. And I'm not about to throw away the possibility this is something else. I'll be fast, but it's just too strange. All right, I know what you're thinking, and Jonas, I'm sorry, but chances are remote that this is, like, your actual mom collect calling you from the grave or something. Yeah, but how remote, really? It's, like, breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? I mean, it's just so crazy to keep hearing this, right? It was like a tick she had. <sighs> I don't know, but try and get it playing right if you can. It's... it sounds like it's her. Like a recording, or it's just... it's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but you can hear that. The voice, right? I can kinda hear it. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire night. Do you think it's... like it could be, right? It's just... W with everything that's happened, she could have come here. It's possible. I mean, a lot's happened tonight in this general realm of craziness, so I'm not gonna rule it out. God, she's like, so close. You can just... Can you just try and tune in the signal? This tape player thing isn't even... I have no clue what's going on, but if you could just help me with this right now. Uh, sure. I, I can... I can try, I guess. Yeah, because this... I don't know how to get this clearer or whatever. truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Not in whole. What are you talking about? You could leave? What does that mean? Us being here at all is a constant struggle. We've had our fingers we dug into the cliff's edge waiting, waiting and trying to come back. Waiting and screaming at anyone who give us so much as a glance. I'm not sorry for you. You could have just ended at any time. I, I don't even know why you would- Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than dying the first time. I can imagine it, okay? You think contemplating annihilation makes you special? What you can imagine is a toddler's toy bag compared to facing real extinction. Don't speak to us of imagination. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. Not going back, we won't go back. Child, wait your turn.
this has always worked before. Jonas, Jonas, are you, are you here? Jonas, are you, are you in here somewhere? Anybody, Clarissa? Guess not. come to close the hole. I've come to to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago, all right? <laughs> okay, well, it didn't work then. Why would it work now? God, you're so spoiled. You don't even know the cost of things. <laughs> Closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your, your friends from our bloom, sure. But it will seal you up in here with us. You'll die with us again and again. So think long and hard about those friends. You're just trying to scare me. That isn't... That can't be the only way. One last chance. You don't have to die. You can leave, you know. Through the gate you opened. And we keep... The girl. Clarissa. She'll soon be happier with us. What? No way! I'm not... I'm not just gonna abandon Clarissa. Who do you think I am? Who do... Who do you think we are? Do you think we wanted to be thrown away? Like some faulty appliance? We won't let it end like that. How can I fix it then? Just... Just tell me how to fix it. I'm here. I'm in the... The past, for God's sake. I can't change this somehow? No, you can't change... Before, you can't change anything. We can feel this... Binding. You have maybe just a few moments left. We feel terrible, we do, but but you have to know why that everyone chose to forget about us. Everyone just shuttered us away into a back closet of their thoughts. Maggie remembered. She wanted to help you. It, it was all she did was, was try and figure out what had happened. We've watched her in every timeline. Watched her try and understand. Out of guilt, maybe? There's... I know there was a crewman on that submarine named Calvin, and, and to you, to all of you, they didn't forget, okay? They didn't throw you away. Calvin... Was our name ever... Calvin? Oh, Calvin. I... almost remember. You were... were... people once. Don't lose that part of you to be... this. It's... it's... Calvin Gilbert. It's hard to remember... certain things. Our faces went a while ago, and then our names... Our names... But our anger... Our anger is... We're afraid of all we have left. It's kind of the last stitch. Keeping it together. I think you should leave it behind. I, I don't know, I, I just... Don't think you need it anymore, if you ever did. Swap it. Keep your nature. We'll keep ours. Maggie had, has, will have this friend down. You sort of remind us of her. Strange girl. Odd-tempered. Take care. With the time you have left, child, and take notice of what you choose to.
Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? Okay, this is... This is gonna be fine. Just work through it. Tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what? what's happening? Hello, are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for him. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What is... How is this possible? What's going on? Well, that could have gone better. Right. Time loop. Tell Michael he should go out on his own. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Wait, I'm... Th this is our house. I'm not. I can't play Amnesia Spy Girl right now. Seriously, pretend to snap Ren's neck on your own time. I've been, like, struggling with this stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have, like, a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. I... I don't know. I, I don't think it has to have a point. Well, that's where we differ, sister. I think things should have points. Things should be sharp. They should poke you. I'm guessing Mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel... It's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What is it? Don't want to go? Like, are you thinking of another school, or...? Nah, it'd be that school if it was going to be a school. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni, and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I have bored you enough. I'm boring me right now. I'm listening. Come on. I'm not gonna judge. No, no, really. I'm talking out of my ass. It's fine. Listen, here's the... <sighs> you can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I are talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and, and just doing our own thing, you know? Getting jobs. Wow, that's... that's exciting. This is like a huge deal, like like the boxcar children version of getting married or something. Uh, it's... yeah, it's kind of a big deal, I guess. It'll be a lot harder to break up, so there's some level of uh, vow there. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and uh, I'm into the idea. I really am. I just... I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your, like, blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm alright to do this? I... God, it's hard for me to say since I love you, of course, but you should do it. Totally. Even if it explodes in a nuclear war-style breakup, you'll regret never trying. Thanks. That means a lot. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Michael, what is... what's this for? What, what are you doing? This is just... this is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you too. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any... 
but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Is she all right? Are we... Uh, in ghost heaven? I think that's just called heaven, sweetheart. But no, we're not. Yeah, 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 okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to note that. Jonas, what happened to you in the shelter? I was so... I just saw you disappear. I didn't... I didn't know what to think. What happened? I thought I heard my mom. And when Alex, when we tried to tune into this signal, I was... I don't know what it looked like from your end, but... It was like I'd fallen into a memory with my dad. I don't know. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have set us off course or whatever. I think... Jonas, I think that was your dad. Like, it was real. You were back then. That's... I mean, it felt real, so... I don't know. Maybe. No, I... had something like that, too. Did anyone else? Did anyone... I'm sorry, but like, did anyone have dreams or whatever about the past when they were, uh... taken? During the night? Um, yeah. Yeah, a few. Just, um, just the one, I think. I saw, um, Michael a, a few times back when we were here on a kind of an accidental trip. I had my older sister. It was a night where I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably something I said to our mom, but I don't know why that who cares night would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa, really. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's like what matters to us showed up or something. The universe doesn't care about what matters to us. Then it doesn't matter anyway. No, I guess it doesn't. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... I think we'd sound nuts, honestly. I, I mean, it's not like... It's not like we have any proof any of this actually happened. Hey, is this your book? Oh man. This is... We're gonna be the best couple ever. Uh, okay. Slow down. I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard. Hey, or... that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Uh, uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I mean, do they even have punch? Uh, I guess? I mean, if I find a date, you know. I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Or rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do better. Come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except none of us are prostitutes and there's no rich guy. Oh, uh, sure. I, I mean, only if you want to. Of course I want to. I'm asking you to. We'll go to Reggie's. If you can find a stained one, you get 50% off. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. Oh, come on, what? We earned this one. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Wait, what? Cheese! Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. The island did one good thing, forcing Ren and Nona together. Which is nice, because they're still together, actually. Though they go to different schools now. Trying out the long distance thing, I guess. Clarissa left to study English literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. 
Rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog too, if you care. Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town and we see each other a lot. It's funny. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day. And then every other day. And then a week went by and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... I don't know. It's good, I think. But anyways, I, um... Well, if it matters. I left town to go to school. Undeclared. I need time to figure out what I... what I want, I guess. But anyways... Oh, what time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Run's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. Ugh, I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right?